when they got the deal, the label, Def Jam, had them perform in front of Fat Joe. And Fat Joe just, honestly, he wasn't feeling it. You know Fat what Joe, I mean? didn't, he wasn't into it. Fuck no. That nigga was like. How do you know he wasn't into it, though, Gutter? Because he stopped them from rapping. They was performing. He said, stop. And he told him. <laughs> what did he say? If you don't mind me, it's been a water on the bridge now. Was it like detail? Like, you got to work on this, this, and this? Yeah, he was like, I can remember word for word what he said. That nigga said. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Um, I mean, you know, Gutter, so what? I mean, you've been working with a lot of different people, man. Um, I've seen you uh, do different things. You behind the scene doing a lot of things too, man. How do you feel like the music game is going to like like now? For as when you look at the labels, when you look at the talent, and just the way that people are moving, the independent versus being signed to a label. Like, what do you think? Shit, um, what do you want me to answer? The independent part, like versus signed to a label. You can do that, and then you can come back and tell me how it is. How being it signed is. to a label today versus the way it used to be. Well, shit, uh, the independent part, everybody be talking all that shit, but they don't want that. It's hard, ain't it? I been that, and, 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 and they don't want that. That come with responsibility. That come with you being the the person to put up and do everything. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. People always yelling independent, but if you got a chance to get a deal, I'm going to tell you quick, go get a deal. Wow, and I and I agree with that so much, man. Um, niggas always, but niggas always come at me though when I say that though. They be like, "Man, look, gutter telling niggas just go sign anything or go do it." Nah, nigga, that ain't what I'm saying. I'm saying if you ain't got it yourself, you need the help. Yeah, ain't no way around it. No, you're exactly right. I agree with that 100. percent You most of these guys don't understand what it takes to even push an artist and develop an artist. Like a lot of people think it's a one and done, but you know you don't have but freak accidents like that. A lot of it's build up. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah, of it's behind yeah. the scene build up. Yeah. And I think they underestimate how much goes into trying to make an artist. It's a lot too. Am I right? No, nah, it's a lot. Cause I seen you work with so many different people. Like explain like even that deal you did with uh, uh with with. Uh, what's her name, Nim? Which one? Uh, Sensei Molly Sensei and uh, Molly, Lil Brooke. Uh, and Lil Brooke. Like, how was that deal leading going into that deal for them? Um, like you was there from the beginning, mm -hmm. all the way till they left. Right. And and you just tell me how was it walking in and understanding how to develop getting them into a deal? See, they um they didn't understand that that um i mean they was good every the whole situation was cool but i don't think the girls understood that um people gonna have opinions and you gotta either fix it up or you gotta shit, take it and run with it it's just different things like say like i say this um when they got the deal the label def jam had them perform in front of fat joe and fat joe just honestly he wasn't feeling it you know Fat I mean? Joe didn't, he wasn't into it. Fuck no. That nigga was like. How do you know he wasn't into it though, Gutter? Because he stopped them from rapping. They was performing. He said, stop. And he told them. <laughs> what did he say? If you don't mind me, it's been a water on the bridge now. Was it like detail? Like you got to work on this, this, and this? Yeah, he was like. I can remember word for word what he said. That nigga said, I don't know if y'all going to fuck me or shoot me. Damn. <laughs> this nigga he tripped out. Mm -hmm. But did you but feel that, him on it? A hundred percent. Why? Why did he say? Cause they was talking about guns or something, and then they, they was talking, talking about, about guns, guns, and then they was talking about fucking on your, your nigga or fucking on a bitch, or you know what I mean? That's it how was they flow real was. Rowdy. Yeah, it was all over the place, kinda. And he said it, and shit. They didn't like that shit. What did, they, what did they say? They was like, "Who's this old ass nigga? Get this old ass nigga out of here!" Uh -oh. What's his hit? Lean back. That shit so old. They oh was, they, uh, damn! They it got rowdy. Him. Yeah, it got so rowdy. this in front of him. Yeah, hell yeah. What, what did he say? He got up and walked out. He said, they'll, he said, he said, all right, I'm done. They'll be through in two years. Was he right? They still going, but he kind of was on the song. You see what I'm saying? Was he right? He, he, they still going, but he was on the song. He just wanted motherfucker to listen. He felt like if you ain't listening, for sure you're going to be out of here, basically, to me. When you was working with them, what were some of the key points that you seen good things about w working with them and what were some of the things that stick out to, that you feel y'all could have did better as a team? Well, my little hard worker. 
she gonna wake up thinking about music all day. Feel me? So you can't knock that. She a beast with that. She want it like I want it. So, okay. uh, Brooke, she just was, a lot of times Brooke just go with the flow. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You can tell that when you interview both of them. She just go with the flow sometimes. You feel me? But Molly, she, you can't even knock it. That motherfucker gonna work hard. She gonna mm-hmm. figure it out. And that was a plus because you needed yeah, to work Yeah, that was a plus because, you know, as a manager or a CEO, we don't always need the fucking, um, the pressure on us. You yeah, know, like, yeah. to do yeah. this, to book the studio, to shoot a video, or to go get a show, or to get a connection. I ain't had to worry about that with Molly. She She's going to find the studio. She going to find a nigga to shoot a video. Like, she, she going to work. Yeah, she going to figure it out. And was it, I mean... At the end, and I talked to both of them, I interviewed both of them, uh, at the end, everything kind of was like they were they. I think they was kind of like they had been trying to make them a group or something. Yeah. Trying to keep them together, and they keep wanted their own, they wanted their own. Yeah, Molly wanted to be solo. And and, and, and that's something that happened when you're dealing with groups, because they yeah. do get tired well, of. Well, she was already solo. Brooke kind of got blessed in. You did that. No. Well, who brought Molly it in? did that. Oh, they Molly was, they they was cool. in. Now nah, she just landed on the hit. Like oh. me and Molly was recording her first tape, and the, the hit on the tape, Brooke was on that one song. That she one wasn't song. on no other songs, but that's mm-hmm. the one that you that me? they picked. Yeah, so like that two two three song, that wasn't no Sensi Molly and Lil Brooke song. That was Sensi Molly featuring Lil Brooke. Oh, so they made but it a when it, thing. Yeah, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a bad look. It was nah, a dope yeah, look. Nah. That whole was they solid. They good together. Hell yeah, that whole See, was solid. Years, a couple years later, after the deal, Warner Brothers tried to sign them. And I had a deal on the table, but once I got Molly on the phone, she just, Brooke was with it. She like, come on, girl, let's go. What they finna, money-wise and all this? She like, let's go. Molly was just like, no. I don't want to be in no group. Wow. Mm-hmm. She like, forget the money. Like, I was like, I can do nothing but salute them. I, was like, I feel you. Do you Dude, think if they stayed in the group? I was about group, to say that. Um, they would have gotten a lot further than they are today. Yeah, the nigga from Warner Brothers even said, he said, I don't just want to sign her. I want them both for nothing. I was like, well, shit. Wow. Yeah. How hard is it for you at mentally dealing with that? Like you, That's stupid mental hard because I needed that money at the that time. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, I was, what the fuck? Let's do this deal. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this bread. The fuck and she didn't want to even deal with it. Yeah, nah. I, I got to get her back on. I want to ask her, is there any regrets? You know what I mean? Cause yeah, I that, feel you. Because it, it, it's something to think about when you have She going to say no. Because you got to think about it. Those opportunities, For those, sure. those yeah, doors don't open no. all the time, man. No, nah, they don't. But that's what I be trying to tell artists when I say get the deal. I don't be saying take any deal. I be trying to tell you that this shit don't fall off trees. No. That shit around right now, but next week, they might not want you. That's it, because they got a lot <laughs> of people that's trying to like, get at them. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.